Hey, what's going on? It's Ian Hart here from BackPainReliefForLife.com, back pain relief expert and co-creator of Back Pain Relief for Life. So today, um, I was watching a video that was on MSNBC or Today Health for July 30th, I think it was, and it was a new revealed research about back pain. Basically, what it was saying is that doctors are not taking the necessary protocol. Typically, most of them nowadays are not taking the necessary protocol which is recommended which is a conservative approach to back pain and what they mentioned was that specifically they're supposed to take in three steps so first they're supposed to go to over-the-counter meds uh, like anti-inflammatory medication um, and they're bypassing these three steps MRIs and physical therapy before narcotics and surgery are given um, it said these three steps were done before surgery, which I found kind of odd because typically they'll do an MRI before surgery. But with that being said, the main point of the article was that there's been a massive increase in narcotic use. So these are being skipped and people are going straight to narcotics. And the use is up 50% since 1999. So we don't know how much the usage is, but we know that there's uh, a lot of narcotic use going on which can be extremely deadly and is extremely addictive. The side note of that is it doesn't actually help the back pain. It makes it 10 times worse by preventing nutrients, oxygen, and blood flow from reaching the injured area. And at the same time, it disconnects you, your mind from your body. So you might not feel the pain, but you might actually be doing things that's causing way more pain and then you're just gonna end up in this uh, circle, a vicious cycle of taking more narcotics because as soon as you come off of it, you're gonna feel more intense back pain because your body has to detox from the chemicals causing more inflammation. So it's a never ending cycle. So the last thing you wanna ever do is take narcotics. There are some instances where it's pain is so severe and unbearable that you have to take narcotics and that is typically a time when surgery is needed. So surgery um, is the last option and it's only a very, very small percentage of people who are suffering from back pain. About 66 million people are trying to manage back pain and we see a lot of them here at our location. Now, one of the big things they asked about in the article is what about prevention? And this is the biggest thing. It's hard to get people to prevent back pain from coming. But if you start to feel aches and pains, the best thing to do is take preventative measures. So doing something like back pain relief for life, strengthening your core, loosening up the muscles that are causing the pain, which is typically a result of muscular imbalances, putting compression on the spine. So that's what you want to do first. Even if you are in pain, you should take this approach first. All of these methods that they mentioned here are not going to give the results and the solution. The solution is going to be strengthening the core, strengthening the muscles around the lower spine, and correcting the muscular imbalances. We see this all the time. Every day we're helping people who have tried these methods and these approaches, and then they come in and in a few sessions, just from correcting those muscular imbalances through the Back Pain Relief for Life program, they feel relief and not only do they feel relief then and there, but they continue with the program and years later they have not had a back issue. And when I, I'm talking about people who have no discs in their back, that couldn't stand for five or ten minutes, who were opted out of life, they wouldn't fish or golf anymore because they had such severe back pain. So it, it's worked for people from um, severe back pain to somebody with just a nagging ache. So, if you're suffering from back pain, keep this in mind. These over-the-counter medication, MRI, physical therapy, especially stay far away from narcotics and surgery, and I would recommend trying back pain relief for life. If you're interested in taking that approach, go ahead and click the link below, and you can check out the program, see if it's for you. We have a bunch of testimonials of people who have done the program over the long term and seen tremendous relief and not only change their back pain, but then start a regular fitness routine to help get the weight off, get stronger around the core, upper body, and legs. Again, this is Ian Hart with Back Pain Relief for Life. 
Um, I hope you found this useful. And again, go ahead and click that link below to check out our program.